I, I've come to the AMR Centre quite simply because it's delivering uh, exactly what I suggested was one of the key requirements when I led the review for the government about solving this really worrying risk of antimicrobial resistance. One of our big things was we need more early stage research. And what better example of that than the AMR Centre? Happens to be in the heart of the Northern Powerhouse, uh, which for me personally uh, adds to my own pride. It's about five miles from where I was raised as a kid. So it's, it's absolutely fantastic to see. I still regard leading the review as, as intriguingly perhaps one of the most interesting things I've ever done in my life, partly because it was so complicated. Uh, but somehow we managed to get a lot of momentum uh, behind what, what's become known as the Ten Commandments, which is uh, really a, a set of ten different but key, all key ideas. And I would say on, a, on seven of the ten, uh, there is some progress going in the right direction. And on uh, three of those seven, uh, or maybe four even, I'd say there's actually really good progress. Two of them are, are evidenced here. Uh, more early stage research and more finance for early stage research. And again, this sensor is a, a vivid live example of, of that being the case. And it's fantastic to see. All the talk that big pharmaceutical companies are increasingly making translates into some action. Uh, I've seen on my brief visit to the new AMR centre here uh, evidence already of, of some quite encouraging research into the urgent or some of the urgently needed pathogens that the WHO has now listed as what is needed to solve this problem. Uh, what we really now want is for some of the big pharma guys to take uh, a more open-minded initiative and put some skin in the game themselves uh, and, and back some of these uh, ideas with their own money. And that, I think, would sort of complete the circle and mean that there's a lot of momentum on all the related initiatives happening at the same time, which is all going to be necessary to put this problem and threat to, to health and economic uh, futures of so many behind us. So the UK government, uh, just by having our review, uh, has played a mammoth, mammoth role in getting the ball rolling all over the world. Uh, I have to say, uh, as with a number of other things uh, the past year or so, since our review has finished, I think the government has lost uh, some of its uh, intensity of focus on the topic. But what, what more could you want in, in a post-Brexit Britain than something that is so global uh, and again relating it to the centre here so vividly illustrated of the best of British? And so I hope the government rediscovers the same kind of passion where they champion the case for this centre and so many other initiatives, uh, putting Britain at the, the leadership of this uh, challenge around the world.